Hello, welcome to another Daily Digest. I am Ross Miriam, and as you can see from this opening hand, I'm trying to put Emrakul into play in a uh, modern deck that is essentially Blue Red Twin. Uh, the rest of the list, is, I mean, it's astounding how similar they are, but you, you could have just taken a twin list and uh, and cut the 10 combo pieces and added a different win condition. In this case, we have Through the Breach and Emrakul with two Mandic Blood Moons, which are sort of win conditions. Uh, and it's a, nicely, it is another wing condition you can do at instant speed. Uh, normally you see through the bridge cast on main phase because you want to attack, but you can cast it on their end step uh, and then un, uh, untap before you have to sacrifice the creature. And uh, Emrakul basically wins the game on the spot, not 100% of the time like um, Twin, but pretty close. So the deck is quite good, as we all know, deck dominated for a while. See if downgrading the wing condition slightly... Uh, Still is it viable? What we do know is that this hand is not viable. Three Emrakuls. That's a lot. I'm going to mulligan. Still have an Emrakul. But this is a pretty good five outside of it. And that's a win condition. It's like having a Splinter Twin in my hand. It's just a Splinter Twin. So I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to get to Serum Visions on turn one. I'm going to get to Issa Charm on turn two. And our opponent mulligan to five, so that's great. see what mode this is a charm does. I'm excited. Oh, uh, do I want lightning bolt? I don't know. I'm on the draw, so I can't I play a fetch and pass and see if the lightning bolt is good. Hey, I'm going to guess that lightning bolt is really good in most matchups. It's also important for finishing the opponent off after you Emrakul them. If they retain enough to enough permits to rebuild, 15 might not be lethal, whereas 18 probably is in modern. And now it definitely is. This is, yeah, Serum Vision, so we're playing against a Jeskai control deck. Well, the bolt is not very good in that matchup, so a little burned there. Although they did bottom bottom, so they might be missing some land drops here. Uh... But I'm just going to try to hit a lot of land drops, because that's what you want to do in these control mirrors. Snapcaster is also quite good, and the land is good. Uh, so let's top top. Um, I don't think I'm going to be casting Is It Charm, so I'll probably just play Desolate Lighthouse. So if I have to cast Remand, I don't have to crack a fetch and throw a land away that's on top of my deck. And that is not having a second land for them, so sucks to be them. We'll remand any sort of cantrip here. But other than that, we'll probably just get... Okay. Well, they found another land, so maybe we'll have a game. Do I want a Snapcaster here to flashback Serum Visions? I don't really know. Um, could just get countered. If I got mana leaked, that would be bad. I think I'll just wait till next turn, because then I can have remand back. So if they counter it, I can just remand my own spell. I like that. Crack this fetch on end step. Got a steam vents. See if they hit more land drops. It's always it's generally good to be the person... Uh, not taking actions, or to, to have both players not taking actions, I mean, when you're the person making land drops, is when action starts happening, you'll, you'll both be on reasonable amounts of spells, but you'll be way ahead on resources. So I don't really want to force the issue when they're the ones who are bottlenecked. Um, and do I want to is it charm this sleight of hand? I kind of do. Keeping them off mana is basically the best thing you can do, so... Let's uh, shock ourselves and counter that. See if they have a spell snare here. And they don't. That's also good to know, so I th I'm going to go for the Snapcaster here on main phase. We'll crack the fetch first so it doesn't interrupt my scrying. And... Because I know I have a spell snare in hand, I guess I'll just get a basic island. I don't need to get two red 
because the, my Wingation is through the breach, not the twin. So I'm fine just having one red source here. And that way, if I draw Blood Moon, now I have two basic ions, which is also th something I like. Seer Visions. Cast it. Another Snap is good. The Electrolyze not so good, but I like the Remand. So, eh, do I like the Remand, actually? I kind of want to just draw lands. I think I'll bottom it. I already have one in my hand. Might be on a beatdown plan here. Snap the Izzet Charm, start attacking, have a Bolt. Next turn they'll be at 16. Virtual 15, that's a 3 turn clock with the 2 snaps and the Bolt. We have 2 counter spells. Seems reasonable to me. Hopefully the Izzet Charm can tag another Cantrip or something like that. Maybe a removal spell on, a snap, on this first snap. I don't think I should defend them too aggressively. Very easy for them to have a bunch of cheap removal. Looks like they're Jeskai, although the Misty throws me off a little bit. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just straight blue-white. The slight, yeah, the slight also makes them seem more like straight blue-white. Although, maybe they're Storm, and they just have one Hallowed Fountain for sideboard cards? That could be it, too. Could be misevaluating them entirely. Well, I've drawn a Cryptic, so I might as well leave that up as well. And we'll see what happens. Them being Storm would also explain the little land count. So maybe I should hold off on this aggro plan until I'm a little more certain of what they're up to. Basic Mountain. Okay. I guess I can just loot with Lighthouse. Try to make some land drops here. I will... I guess I can discard the Bolt. The Snap can target it to kill Brawl or... Um, Goblin Electromancer. Should the need arise for that. And otherwise, it'll just flash it back if I end up going on an aggressive plan here. That's fine. Hit a land drop, so that's good. Now if I hit through the breach, I can go for the combo. Although, eventually I might discard this Emrakul. But not until after I use this Snapcaster. Okay, looks like we are definitely playing against a Storm deck. I feel like I should remand as long as possible. Because these are the ones that get worse later. And now we just found it through the breach to kill them. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Unless they have the main deck to spell. If they have that, then more power to you. I'd like to put this one into play, not Snapcaster. Although, through the breaching in a Snapcaster, I bet is a really fun play whenever it comes up. Maybe you get a bunch of mana and you splice a through the breach onto another through the breach. And you put Snapcaster into play and you target something that's key and then Emrakul them. I don't know. Either way, we want Dispels and Negates. And we want instant speed answers to their creatures. I don't want Blood Moon. Do I want Ancient or Engineered Explosives? This is 60 cards right now. Um, yeah, I, I do want EE actually because it deals with Empty the Warns tokens. That is definitely relevant. I'm going to keep in all my bolts. I want to keep in the full combo. I guess I bring out these Electrolyzes. Maybe you just have an Anger as another sweeper against Empty. I think Empty is definitely something they're going to do in this matchup. It's good against Emrakul, actually. It is, lets them win small, and I'm trading a lot of resources, so winning small is something I think they're going to be interested in. And they have a bunch of counter spells, so they can play this aggro control plan if they want to Empty for 6 or 8 on turn 2, and then hold up some negates and dispels for my Through the Breach, something like that. 
So I'll, I'll bring in two sweepers, but I don't want to go overboard on that. I think this is fine. Our opponent's a 61 card storm deck, too. White in their sideboard. Stony Silence? Rest in Peace is so awkward in their deck. Uh, hmm. Second through the breach is pretty bad. So I'm evaluating this mostly as a six card hand. I don't have a lot of ways to loot away the other through the breach. This is not a bad six, although it doesn't have an answer to any creature. But I think it's a keep. We're gonna have to really try hard to make some land drops too. Much better start from our opponent. Cup seven, cast a cantrip. Exactly what they want to be doing. We'll see if they're brave enough to run the creature out on turn two. Not sure if they're a list that has Apostles of Blessing or not. Uh, let's just get the Steam Vents into play. If they kill me on turn two and the spell could have stopped it, so be it. I like drawing another land there, though. Hopefully I'll be able to Emrakul them pretty quickly. There's another counter spell. Actually, that's a way to lose away through the breach, too. And kill a Goblin Electromancer. So another good draw. We'll probably hold on to it rather than looting with it immediately. Probably cast it on turn three if I don't find another land. Um... Do I just want to dispel this? I don't really think I want to remand it, but I don't want to use my one mana counter spell because that takes me off of counters on the next turn. If I just remand it, then they just cast it next turn, which is probably fine if they just main phase it. Plus I want to cycle through my deck. So it's always use remand first. Again, if they kill me as I tapped out, more power to them. Storm deck usually doesn't kill until turn four. So I'll be a bit more wary starting next turn. Yet another way to loot away through the breach, so that's nice. Hmm. And there's the other part of the combo, so doing well so far. I want to play a third colored source so I can cast both Is It Charm and Dispel here. This fetch will bring them to 18, so I'm pretty close to having them dead. I think I counter this with Is It Charm? They have exactly Electromancer. I look foolish, but I, I think Dispel is more valuable. If they untap and have a fourth land, my Is It Charm gets pretty bad because they can start off with some uh, rituals. I really don't want my Is It Charm to be bad. I've already found my combo. So let's just counter that with Is It Charm. They might have a Dispel here, too, which would be not great. No Dispel is nice. And see what they have next. Two Through the Breaches is also nice, because if they hit land five, I can pass the turn, hold up some counters, EOT Through the Breach. If they have a counter, untap, play another one. Maybe with Dispel backup. So I almost just want to draw lands for the rest of this game. Which makes me wary of cracking this fetch. So I won't do it. There is the bolt that will finish them off. So now we just need to find a land, which means activating this desolate lighthouse. Um, at this point, I think I let that one resolve. Ugh. Well, not a fan that they found a Dispel. Not a fan at all. Let that resolve. I'm in a bit of an awkward spot now. In that I want to use one through the breach as bait for that Dispel. So I don't have to wait until I hit land six. Bottom, bottom off the vision. So that's nice. And they didn't fetch first. This is weird. 
Can't cast a gifts here, so I'm not sure what's in their hand. Uh, we will loot away. Hmm. I don't really like this visions because it takes me off cryptic, even though it helps me find lands. I really want to just draw a land next turn and pass and have the option of EOT through the breaching. But the, if I get to untap and cast visions, I'm really happy about it. I could find another land, have the cryptic up still, get to six mana and through the breach with dispel backup. Hmm. But if I have to use the dispel, then I'm in kind of rough shape. And I want to hold up cryptic anyway. So maybe that could be wrong. Ugh. Now I definitely want to discard it through the breach. Might have been the maximally punishing draw. We're running out of disruption here, and our opponent has a lot of resources. Not looking great. I think I need to hit the land pretty quickly. Ugh. Um, so they could have gifts here, but if they tap out for gifts, they're vulnerable to through the breach. So I'm actually not that upset to let them tap out if they want to. Which I think is going to be their plan here. Looks like it. Yes. Oh, no. So they're going to Gifts with the Dispel up still. Not a bad play, especially because they're going to go up to seven cards anyway. Yeah, Ritual into Gifts was, uh, was pretty strong. Um, hmm. So now I, I certainly need another land. It has to be a blue source. has to be untapped so I can play Cryptic plus Dispel. Or another counter spell, I guess. But another land is ideal. Um, I have a bolt to answer at least one of these, so I'm pretty happy just giving them both creatures. Uh, they didn't. They must have a past in flames or an empty in their hand. Um, maybe I'm supposed to give them one of the creatures and the desperate ritual. That makes sense to me. Um, yeah, so that they can't reload. Sure, so let's give them the Electromancer. Oh no! Well, I meant to give them Electromancer, but I choose the ones that go to the graveyard, so way to be me. So I'll just end up giving them the, the Brawl. They might end up getting a free loot off that Dispel now. Jeez. Why, deck? Why? Land. Ugh. I guess I still have Bolt plus Dispel. So let's... Okay, hit a land. That's quite good. Um, I don't really want this Cryptic. Uh, nor do I really want this Snap. Maybe the Snap is good. I think at, at this point it, it's just going to be hope to have the have Bolt plus Dispel be good, and then start jamming through the Breach. So I'll just bottom both. <laughs> For all resolves, probably see a Ritual here, and then we'll respond to this. Pull your thing. Could see a ritual in response here. No, but we're just going to see the dispel. And I will dispel back. Could still be dead. Or they could just make a bunch of 1 1s. But that wouldn't be so bad. They'd have to sack a bunch of them. I'd have a couple turns to try to kill them from 2. Oh. This could be bad, though. What else you got? Interesting that they made red or red blue there instead of blue blue. And again, 
I mean, they have to. If they have more rituals, they would have done them before the mana morphoses, which just netted a bunch of blue mana. I think they were trying to go off that turn, hoping the top of their deck found them something. Oh, uh, now they might just be grape shotting me a ton. But they can't. They can only cast the one. Uh, maybe they have a Seven Spirit Guide and a second one to bring me to three. No. I guess they just figure that that damage is better than nothing. Okay, well, I feel quite good about this game then. We'll just take all of their lands away. And then... Find a way to kill them. Kind of wish I had that snap now. Even though it can't target Bolt, it would have just been a 2-1. But... I don't think it'll matter. Having them on no permanence, two life, me having a cryptic in hand with a ton of live draws should be good enough. They might be mildly tilted. I don't really know why. But victory. I guess a um, little lucky in their game one. They did their hand. Only uh, mulling to five and missing their second land drop once, but they were functional from there. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, both players played magic in both games. And in game two, we were hamstrung a bit by not hitting land drops at the right turn uh, on curve, but we had the right disruption on the right turns and did just enough, it looks like, to avoid a certain death. And I don't know. I mean, Twin was always a good deck, and it was always more of a control deck than a combo deck anyway. So, the control elements are still good. Bolt is definitely worse. Maybe a Grixis version with Fatal Push so you can be better against Death Shadow and Terminate to deal with the, the Delve threats might be better. Um, but the, the fundamental strategy is pretty good. And I don't know. It's a dot. Everybody's clamoring to play some, some fair magic. Twin might just be the way to do it, even though the deck's been banned for two years. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that one, and you can come back and see me on Friday. Bye.